Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with my patient uh, who's come in um, with a, uh, a dental implant crown. It says a cemented crown on number 14. It is a uh, not a screw retained, but there is a screwed abutment, and the abutment screw is loose, and we would like to ha go ahead and have that serviced. It was um, uh, we are going to change out the uh, the abutment screw. The company is Thoman Medical, and um, the upcoming torque values is going to be 25 newton centimeters. 25 newton centimeters for this type of uh, what they call a, believe it's a vario abutment or a vario type of implant. Uh, Swiss precision, of course. Um, manufactured by Thoman Medical. Okay, so so what we need to do is gain access to the screw head. So first things first, I'm going to start a pilot uh, access hole through the top of the uh, crown with the patient's consent and we're going to go ahead and move along now. Okay, Deborah, open up just a little bit. Thank you. And we'll go right about here. And we'll just go in gently. We're already touching metal, so maybe that's a, a good thing. I'm going to try to keep the access hole the normal diameter, and we may have to search for the uh, the internal chamber and uh, I'm gonna go distal just a little and now I'm gonna take a 330 Increase the magnification. I'm also looking for a cement, anything that looks like a cement liner or cement seal. Supposedly yellow gold abutments, so we should be able to identify them as soon as we're. There we go, we're in. Very good. Okay. Oh, we're hoping to find out if it's Teflon or if it's just cement. What are we looking at as far as the cover? Oh, I couldn't have done it any better. That one's right, right where it is. So there's some kind of a, a composite. We'll go ahead and dry that off, and we'll take an explorer and just to get a feel for where the opening is. Oh, look at that right there. Now let's find out what that is. Is that the top of the abutment, or is that actually a screw? Okay, so we have to do some uncovering here. All right. This is where I'm going to take the water off and we'll just use some light air. I'm just going to gently Remove this composite. 
and probably rely X amount. Okay, ah, so it's more lingual and to the distal. So I'm just following the dark hue. And it's toward the lingual and the distal. So I'm going to go back in with my KS tuber. And we'll go distal lingual. And of course, we've got to put our water back on. Okay. Very similar to endo axis. Now there's a small little void. We'll get a long explorer. And we'll just try to break through. You can see the round shape of the access opening. Okay, so there is uh, a void. So it's, it's good to assume that that's our chamber. And we're going to just de-roof it a little bit. And we're drying that off and going back in there. Uh, get a feel for what's going on inside. Looks like there's a lot of this material internally, so that could mean a lot of hand instruments and working by hand. Okay. Rinse and dry. Okay. And a suction lower. Okay. Okay. Looks like they filled the entire chamber with the Reliac cement. So I'm just going to take a round burr and go slowly just to remove the cement a little at a time. So what we're going to do is spray a little air in there. And i got to go gently until we find the screw head. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me know when you need a break. Peridonal probe. And we're going to measure the depth. So about six millimeters in depth. Uh, just trying to get a judge for how far in we're we're heading. So I'm going to go back to the 330 burr. And again, I'm going to take the water off at this point. We'll just use air and 
it's just slow RPMs. Okay. So as we progress, we're drawing. As we progress, we're just going to see, we'll see if it penetrates into the head of the screw and find out where that is. All right, I'm going to pick this up on the next video clip, see if we can uh, go a little more slowly here now.